So how do we look at doping to determine what type of semiconductor we're dealing with? So here we're given germanium doped with gallium, silicon doped with arsenic. And we want to know, are they N-type or P-type semiconductors? So first off, if we look at the periodic table and we look at the group 4A elements, these are going to be your traditional uh, starting material for making a semiconductor. They're often semiconductors on their own. You can see that germanium and silicon both fall into this range. So if we consider our first type of semiconductor, germanium doped with gallium, we see that gallium is in group 3A. So what that means is that gallium has a deficiency of electrons compared to germanium, meaning that this type of semiconductor is going to be a P-type semiconductor. Conversely, if we consider our silicon doped with arsenic, arsenic falls in the group 5A elements, which means that silicon doped with arsenic has an excess of electrons in it, making it an N-type semiconductor. 